Hey guys, Ben here helping you earn more, spend less, and invest the difference. Now, today's video is a very special one. For once, we're actually not talking about money. Now, I guess in theory, you could earn a little bit of passive income by using this product, but that's really not what this video is about. This video is about a product so amazing that I just feel like I need to give it a proper shout out to get some recognition. We're talking about the Brave web browser. Now, Brave is a web browser that's been around for a couple of years, and in many ways, it's similar to pretty much any other web browser that you've ever used, such as Google Chrome, Safari, Firefox, Edge. Whatever web browser you are currently using, I can pretty well guarantee you that Brave is going to be significantly better. On a scale of 1 to 10, I rate Brave like a 12. It really is that great. Now let's not waste any more time, let's jump straight in and let's start exploring the features of the Brave web browser. All right guys, so here we are at a new tab inside of the Brave web browser. I really kind of dig this background image, but every time you open up a new browser, it is gonna change that background image. So it does keep things nice and fresh. Now where Brave specializes is they really excel in things like privacy, security, and all of that stuff. Now I've used Brave for, I don't know, maybe five or six months now. And during that time, you can see that Brave has stopped, they have blocked over 800,000 trackers and ads. And because I'm not downloading all of those cookies and redirects and trackers and all that nonsense, that has saved me almost six gigabytes of bandwidth and that means that these web pages are loading faster than normal because I don't have to download all that extra crap. And that saved 11.2 hours. That's how much this web browser has sped up the pages loading for me. That is craziness. Now, two of the big features that we're going to be talking about is going to be up here. It's going to be the Brave Shields and the Brave Rewards. And we'll get to both of those here in just a moment. So not only does the Brave web browser naturally disable all kinds of trackers and ads, but a nice thing about it is you can actually come on up here and click on this little drop down menu and you can start a new private window with Tor. That's right, the Brave web browser has a built in Tor functionality. And basically what Tor is going to do is when you are using this private web browser, it's going to hide your IP addresses from sites that you visit by routing your browser through several Tor servers before it reaches its final destination. Now using this feature, because it is redirouting your IP address several times, can slow down browsing and some sites may not work at all. So for general web surfing, I don't necessarily recommend this Tor uh, activity just because it can slow things down a little bit um, but while you're using this Tor private function the search engine is going to default to DuckDuckGo and if you haven't heard of them it's a web search engine kind of similar to Google uh, that does not track your search history further enabling this security feature so that's a nice little fun functionality that is built right in to the Brave web browser now, if we go on over to a website, let's just go on over to YouTube real fast. This is a video I just put out a couple of days ago. We can see that this Brave Shield is light up all kinds of red. So if we just click on it, it says that it has blocked 16 cross-site trackers and other creepy things blocked from YouTube.com. Let's just go on over to Google. Let's see how many things it blocked from Google. So it's blocked 17 cross-site trackers from Google. Yahoo. Yahoo is terrible, guys. 99 plus trackers and other creepy things were blocked simply by loading yahoo.com. And once again, because we're not having to load and download all of these creepy things, that's going to speed up the web page loading. And if we click on Advanced View, we can just see that these are the standard trackers and ads that are being blocked. We can actually go super aggressive or we can allow all ads. Now, I will say that some websites, not many, but some websites have little pop-up functionalities or whatever that require some of these things to be enabled. 
So if you are viewing a website that just isn't working properly using Brave, you can come on in here and temporarily let down the shields so that the website can function properly. It's not many, it's like maybe 1% of sites that you'll have to do this on, it's not a big deal. And we can also come down here and do the same thing with cookies and fingerprinting. So we can highly customize all of this stuff. All right, so let's just come back on over here. Now, when it's blocking things, like I said, it blocks trackers and ads. When I say it blocks ads, I mean it blocks all ads. You will never see another ad again if you download and install Brave. This thing is gangster powerful. But if you're interested in viewing ads, you can actually turn on a few ads. You can come up here to the Brave Rewards and click on this little gear for your summary. Now, basically what this is doing is it is using a cryptocurrency called BAT, which is Basic Attention Token. Currently, this token is in the top 100 cryptos in the world. It's a very popular cryptocurrency. And the purpose behind BAT, Basic Attention Token, is that as a user, you are typically bombarded with ads on a regular basis. Like, you have to suffer through all these things. But you don't get paid to actually watch any of those things or view any of those things. So the BAT cryptocurrency is kind of flipping things on end. So if you enable ads, and you can do that by clicking in here and turning on and off ads, and you can even click how many ads that you're interested in seeing per hour. So as I'm making this video, I have ads disabled, but you can actually specify maybe you just want a few ads or maybe you want to see a bunch of ads and earn a bunch of money. The more ads that you see, the more of this cryptocurrency that you will earn because you are the one being bombarded with it. You should be rewarded for having to view these ads. Now, these ads are small and unintrusive, so they pop up down here in the corner. They're, I don't know, maybe a, a, like a, an inch and a half square or something like that. Right down here, they'll pop up. And every time that you view one of those ads, you will get paid in this basic attention token. Now, you do have to have 15 bat coins in order to actually withdraw and sell these bat coins. You can create two different types of wallets through Uphold or Gemini. Personally, I would link with Gemini just because they're a crypto exchange that you can passively earn some interest on your bat coins as well. Not necessary though, if you're interested, you can just sell these coins outright or you can just ignore these coins because you're just using the Brave web browser just to get rid of those ads and creepy blockers. But if we click on view statement, for the month of November, which was realistically, you know, the earnings earned during October, I had the ads actually turned on about five an hour, I think, and I think I earned four and a half bat coins for that month and currently a bat coin is worth basically one dollar even so that's four and a half dollars i earned in the month of october now all the other months i had my ads completely turned off i was never ever seeing any kind of ads but even then you're still going to earn small amounts of bat coins 0.75 uh one 0.75, etc. So you are slowly going to earn some rewards, even if you never, ever see an advertisement. And when I say never see an advertisement, I mean, if you have this set to zero, you will see nothing, including if you come on over to YouTube and you click on a video to watch, you know how every YouTube video shows those ads at the beginning of the video, maybe sprinkled throughout in the middle of the video. This is going to block everything including those ads. Now that does have a couple of problems because YouTube creators make money when you view ads. So if you're not getting any ads from YouTube, the creator is not earning any money. But in order to get around that, if we come up on here to the Brave Rewards on a website like YouTube, you can see that I am registered as a verified content creator and you can send me a tip in basic attention tokens directly to me. So by sending a tip, you're helping to offset the fact that 
you are not viewing any ads and the content creator isn't getting paid to make those videos because you're not seeing any ads. So if we just click on send tip, it'll come up with a couple of different options. You can do one, five or 10 bat coins or select a custom amount. And you can do this either as a one-time tip or you can set it up as a recurring monthly contribution. Another way that you can enable all of this stuff is if we just come on up to our rewards and click on this gear icon, we can scroll down and select the auto contribute function. So when this is turned on, any website that you visit that is enabled with Brave payments will automatically contribute a little bit of your earned bat coins that you are earning every month to those content creators. So whoever it is that you're looking at and viewing their stuff, it will automatically send them a little bit of this bat cryptocurrency to help offset the fact that they were not getting bombarded and earning money based on those YouTube ads. So that's a nice little functionality to help reward content creators, even though you're not getting those ads. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. The Brave web browser is built for speed, safety, privacy. It helps you earn a little bit of passive income, even if you're not watching any ads whatsoever. This thing is great. It's lightning fast because you don't have to worry about downloading all those cookies and trackers and redirects and other creepy things that you know websites are using to stalk your online presence with. In addition, you will never, ever have to see another ad unless you so choose to. And if you choose to, you will actually get paid to do so. If you found this video useful, consider subscribing, leave a comment down below of what you think about the Brave web browser. And as always, I'll see you all again next time. Thanks.